plants add warmth to the space and reminds us of nature, which makes us happy. They are a great way to brighten up a space and create a cozy atmosphere for us to retreat to. While there is a bit more maintenance and consideration when styling with plants than with objects, the results are worth the effort. There are also countless products that can simplify the process and a huge range of species to choose from, some of which require very little maintenance. In this video, I'll take you through a tour of my house plants, their names, and some resources that have helped me along the way. First is a snake plant in the corner of the living room. It grows upright which makes it perfect for a tight corner and is able to withstand stronger sunlight. They are also tolerant of low light where I used to place them near the corner of my entryway. Next to it is a peace lily plant which I've had for almost two years. It recently started blooming again as we're now in the early days of spring in Sydney. Above the entertainment unit is a felted peperomia which I recently acquired. Unlike other peperomias, the leaves are covered with small white hairs that give the feel and appearance of felt, which makes it extremely soft to touch. On the other side of the entertainment unit is another variation of the same family, the watermelon peperomia. It has a beautiful mix of green and silver stripes with red stems underneath. I place it under a scone lamp which helps the silver variegation to sparkle. Beside is a shorter variation of the snake plant called Futura Robusta. It grows compact with silvery green leaves making it a beautiful indoor accent. The console table to the left houses smaller plants, one of which is a Chinese money plant. This is one of the most sought after plants in recent times and is often featured in Scandinavian interiors. Another plant I recently acquired is a raven zizi plant. This variety used to be rare and expensive, but is now widely available at reasonable prices. It has deep purple glossy leaves that looks almost black in most indoor settings. The striking color makes it a great fit for decorating with black and white. In my office, I have a huge south-facing window that lets in plenty of natural light. On the corner of the desk is a philodendron birkin, which is one of my favorite choice of plants to decorate a shelf or table. To the window is a giant bird of paradise, which has been enjoying the sunlight and is sprouting new leaves every other week. This plant makes for a great statement piece due to its size and giant leaves. Above it is a philodendron brazil, which I am hoping will slowly grow and trail down the shelf. Before I move on, I wanted to briefly thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. If you'd like to learn more on how to keep your plants thriving, then I highly recommend you take Christopher Griffin's class, Plants at Home. In it, he goes through simple steps to find the perfect plant for your home, create a welcoming environment, and troubleshooting common issues like root rot and dying leaves. You can also take classes on photography and filmmaking, all the way to business and productivity. The best part about Skillshare is that it is curated specifically for learning. No ads, no distractions, and constant addition of new premium classes so you can just follow wherever your creativity takes you. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one-month free trial of premium membership. On the opposite side of the room is a beautiful Monstera Deliciosa, one of the most popular choices for indoor plants. It sits inside a cypress stone pot with a drainage hole and saucer. This makes it easy to dump excess water and avoid root rot from overwatering. Hanging on the ceiling is two variations of pothos, a golden pothos, otherwise known as devil's ivy, and a marble queen pothos. Hanging pots and plants is a great way to decorate an empty wall and adds architectural interest to a space. On the shelf is another variation of peperomia with a speckled marble look and thick succulent-like cupped leaves.
The last plant I own is the mini Monstera, which sits on top of this open shelf. When it comes to choosing a plant, apart from its size and looks, it is important to consider the amount of light available, as plants can't survive without sufficient light. I use a simple app called Plant Light Meter, which helps determine the level of light in a given spot. If you have pets around the home, make sure to do your research as some plants are known to be toxic for pets. As a beginner plant parent, there are a few resources and products that I've found helpful along my plant journey. The book Plantopedia is one of my favorite. It is a visually stunning book that contains more than 130 plant profiles, along with detailed care information and easy to reference table about each plant. For something lighter and easier to reference, this set of little plant books by Emma Sibley is very lightweight and useful as a quick guide after adopting a new plant. The new plant parent by Daryl Chang is another one I highly recommend if you're looking for a more technical or scientific approach while still being easy to read. It has given me a new perspective on a plant's need and how it consumes water and light. When it comes to siting a space, Plant Style is a great book to read. It doesn't go in depth about plants, but has a lot of helpful pictures and ideas on how to choose plants, their accessories, and where to place or style them in different areas of the house. The last book is Wild Interiors by Hilton Carter, another great resource for plant styling. It features the homes of plant parents with beautiful and inspiring images. A lot of the homes here have a more indoor jungle vibe as opposed to the previous book which is more minimal. Apart from books, I have had a great experience using this plant care kit from a local Melbourne company, The Plant Runner. This set of neem oil and plant food came in a beautiful gift box and does a great job in keeping my plants healthy and happy. Taking care of plants has given me a sense of calmness while giving life and color to my home. It is now a hobby that takes me away from the screen and busyness of everyday life. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.